I highly recommend reading the short bio that is linked uh, within the um, this assignment to the reading. It's a um, book review out of The Economist. Uh, the book is, um, is the biography of Carnegie, so it's just the review. So it's uh, quite short, but gives some really interesting uh, background about Dale, Dale Carnegie and his life career and the enormous business he built around uh, principally his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. This reading is a, a chapter out of that book, and that book has had kind of a remarkable, remarkably long run. It's still an enormous bestseller. This particular chapter, which I think is the, the chapter that is of you know, kind of greatest use to us for sure, is uh, focused on how do we effectively communicate with people? How do we get them to understand and believe and listen to the messages uh, that we would like to deliver to them? Clearly a very important uh, thing for leaders to think about. So Carnegie has a very kind of folksy approach uh, <clears throat> to uh, presenting his ideas, but I think he also makes some very sophisticated points about uh, the influence of perception and beliefs in the in uh, how information is received in the transfer, transmission process between people. And it's, it's something that I think I'd, I'd like to challenge you to read a little more deeply than just the uh, presentation of, of his kind of prescriptive message. Um, and the, the reading emphasizes a, a real simple point, the importance of communicating in language and framed by experiences that the person you're uh, trying to persuade or communicate with will understand. <clears throat> the um, particular things to focus on, and again, this is um, a reading that you could, that is quite breezy, you can kind of fly through it, but I, I challenge you to take the social information processing model handout that we're using in class, use it as a reference, and translate Carnegie's advice into the SIP framework. What is it that he's telling us that um, that we can fit into this a little more sophisticated cognitive model that is at the core of what we're talking about in the course. Um, there are definitely uh, things to think about how prior beliefs influence judgments about the credibility of source and message. And then I'd also like you to you know, think real hard about the assumptions about the relationship between beliefs and behavior that are uh, implicit in what, what Carnegie is talking about.